Welcome back to Onovo Media TV. My people, this one is shock. Barista Kenneth Okonkwo don't dump P2B and Labour Party. No be small thing. In this video you are about to watch now, Aisha Yusuf can explain in detail what it make this man dump P2B and Labour Party. I beg, watch this video to the end and don't forget to like and share. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, Kenneth Okonko has dissociated himself uh, from Mr. Peter Obi, uh, and he has done a letter. I've not read this letter. I've just, uh, no, not read a letter, but an article, a letter to his countryman, Shah. So, I'm reading this letter. I just decided, let me read it on camera and see what it, it says. I've seen the headlines. Some headlines are saying that, oh, he said... Uh, uh, Peter B is spineless. Uh, of course, you know, headlines can be whatever. So I'm going to read the letter and we're going to read it together for me to see what uh, this this whole thing it's, it's all about and where this is going to. Uh, if I tell you I'm not shocked, I I'll be lying because I'm like, the first time I saw this, I'm like, oh, fake, maybe fake news or something. I had, to, I had to actually call Kenneth to Konko because I just spoke to him a minute, uh, like a minute ago. And I'm like, ah, bros, what's this? What, what am I saying? I just saw this thing in the blog, in the this thing. Did this thing originate from me? He said, yes. Yeah. So I even, I now went to, I'm even reading this from his Twitter uh, handle. And then he was, I'm like, oh, okay. Now, like, okay, have you read? I said, I've, I said, I've not read. It's okay. When you finish reading it, let's have a conversation. And so for me, I'm going to do a video on it anyway. So let me, Kukuma, be reading it. As I'm as as I'm going on to see, you know what are the words that are inside and and all of that. So he said, "Political journey to a great Nigeria" by Kenneth Okonko. To my countrymen, with love. Mm, okay, I have a problem with that. Okay, he did his uh, to his countrymen, not the women. Okay, the letter is I'm not included in the letter. So you people that are men, countrymen. I will. Let, 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 let me, in short, as I'm doing, I'm writing because I'm, I'm going to call it, uh, we're going to talk about this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call, I, of course, I'm going to call, we're going to have a discussion on this. I'm like, okay, the first, let me, me and my, I need a viral rule because pencil now, it will not be showing, you know, very well. And then I'll be thinking, oh, what is it that I wrote? Because I wrote, I write very fast. Uh, I can't start this video again. Anyway, let's continue. So, country, country men, letter, not women. So, he said to my countrymen with love, I write to update you on my political journey so far as follows. I am committed irreversibly to a great Nigeria built on equity, justice, and fairness, where every citizen will be free and able to aspire to any position or level in life without regard to primordial sentiments built around ethnicity, religion, sex, or circumstances of birth. Two, it's obvious that the APC or PDP, as presently constituted, do not have what it takes to lead us to a great Nigeria. Indeed, their combined leadership is trying to cripple Nigeria as this blessed country is now down economically, politically, and in every other index, leaving the people with no other option than to protest for their survival. They can see no hope for the future. Three, unfortunately, by our constitution, we need a solid party, uh, a solid political party with solid grassroots base to be able to wrestle power from these kakistocrats and kleptocrats. We therefore, need a decisive leader who will be able to build such a party of integrity and character from the grassroots because eventually majority of the people that we populate a government will eventually proceed from the political uh, party of the leader. A party is like a political tree that produces the fruit of the leadership cadre in government. A corrupt tree will never bet good fruits, no matter the integrity and good intentions of the leader. Nigerian problems today come from lack 
of internal democracy in the parties, which become a breeding ground for the production of incompetent and corrupt leaders in government. Four, we also need a decisive leader who will be selfless enough in boldness and bravery to secure our victory when the people vote for such leader because these corrupt and incompetent leaders are not willing to conduct free and fair elections and will always grab snatch power from any weak and indecisive leader and run away with it. Our judiciary has not proved to be equal to the tax in preventing the emergence of electoral bandits who steal electoral victories at gunpoint in the public lay of everyone. So for me, let me just even look at this uh, number four and what he's talking about. I think one of the things that we we always uh, think about, uh, it's, it's always the fact that we need one leader that will come and solve the problem and show, show power and be... Then what's the difference between that person and dictator? We what's the what's the difference? So we we so sort of like the mentality is like this: we want to change Tinubu, but we want to replace Tinubu with someone like Tinubu who behaves in that certain way. And we think we're going to get something different. How is it one person is the one that is supposed to build? No, that, that's no longer democracy. That's now a dictatorship, dictatorship. And that's why that one person we get in there, we now begin to dictate, we now begin to snatch and feel that everybody owes them allegiance or people have to do things in their own way. So that's the thing. For me, I will, I will come as, as I go on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I, will, I will talk about some of the things in, in my head now. So we have to be mindful. Do we really want democracy or do we want dictatorship but our own dictators in there? So that's the thing. You want someone to come to grab, to be this whatever leader that we want. But when we see the one that says, oh, we want democracy, but we really don't want it in that way. So that's, that's from looking at this. So no, number five, it says, uh, I'm earnestly searching for such a leader who has the integrity and also the commensurate charisma and bravery to mobilize the people to sustain the victory in the event that Nigeria votes for such a person. The time for calm down is over. So at one hand, we want, we want someone who has the integrity, the character, the competence that we know we do good by Nigeria, but we want him to be, to have also the qualities of a bandit, of a dictator, of snatch, run, grab. Most times those things don't work together. So you want the quality of someone who wants to do the right thing. We all have to put our hands and do the democracy the way it is. Or you want the other one. There's no has someone who is who will have the integrity and all of that. We'll not be tainted if they don't all of those things. So you can't be the one that we grab, snatch, you don't care about people, you do whatever it takes to get the power, you will bribe people, you will, you will be on the sea, you say let them burn, let them burn uh, everything, burn the country down because this, 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 that, and get it, bring violence, use this, use that, and then you want to have that integrity. It doesn't work. There's something about all these things that taint. And when the soul is corrupted, the moment you are tainted, you're corrupted, you will not begin to behave that way. I'm sure for those that knew, uh, 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 people like Tinibu a long time ago, they didn't start from there. It's little by little. Say, oh, it's okay. It's okay to use this violence. After all, we want to get this thing. It's okay to, by the time you use it, you use it, you use it. You use a little bit of evil, this evil, that evil. You wake up one day, you are not the evil. Sure you get. Anyway, in continuation, I say this video might end up being extremely, you know, uh, long, but I hope not. Then six, I recall how we suffered and risked all to liberate Nigeria from the shackles of these kakistocrats and kleptocrats in 2023, only for the victory to be stolen. It is obvious that the judiciary will not give us democracy because of abuse of the judicial process. The people must take their own destiny in their hands. They must be willing to vote the right person as a president. They must be willing to fight to ensure that the person is sworn in as president. However, the person must be willing to be in the forefront of such endeavor. The suffering Nigerians are going through now from the people they didn't vote for, but who snatch power cannot be allowed to continue. These people still will still remain in power come 2027 unless a decisive leader 
emerges to stop them with the votes of the people. So like I said before, we want someone with computer character capacity. The same, then you want someone with the kind of shenanigans that uh, uh, Tinubu has to be able to go on. For me, I don't think uh, uh, that's the way. That's my own personal uh, opinion anyways. One of the things I, I, I look for, for me, everything that has to do working within the ambit of the law is harder. It's very hard. You have to put in a lot. Sometimes it seems as if it's working, but for me, that is where I will always be. Anything that, it has to be within the ambit of the law. So that I know when I look at myself in the mirror, I know, yes, I did the right thing. I might not, even if I don't win, even if I don't get it, but doing the right thing, the process that brings someone in must be clean. For me, that's that's where that's where uh, personally I, I I I stand, and so therefore, yes, the judicial uh, this thing was not uh, there's no judicial freedom and, and stuff like that. But one of the things I'm looking at is the fact that what are we doing to get all of those uh, uh, what do you call them polling unit agents everywhere? Make sure that every resource sheet within 72 hours they are collected, they are locked up, they are kept. You're going to court. Every single resource sheet, you take it down to that court. You have the copies, you have everything, and say to them, see this resource sheet. Let's see what it is that you're going to do. Overwhelm them with evidence. I've, I've, I don't trust the judiciary. I've never trusted the judiciary. Overwhelm them with evidence. Yes, we saw the 2023 election. The evidence that we're giving to them, they came out to say, okay, some they didn't want. Fine. The way they want, the one they said they want. You go and do it and go for it and go on. The moment you, you do, you go the way of the evil ways of the people who are there, then you become tainted. You, you, you turn up to be one of them. That's why you see people fight for certain things. They fight uh, and then you, they turn out to be the people that they are actually, you know, uh, fighting for. For me, that's, that, 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 that's, that's, that's the thing that I see. So let me go back and, and continue. Uh, he said, uh, to serve them with, uh, however, okay, okay. number seven, it says, uh, I'm trying to, what's happening? Okay. Oh my goodness, this is going to be long. Number seven, what is happening in Labour Party today has inspired in me a determination to chart a new course for my political journey. After the 2023 general elections, Nigerians, including me, had high hopes on Labour Party. I believe that Peter Obi will seize the mo momentum and build a solid party of integrity, that we have the solid base that we need to overthrow the kakistocrats and kleptocrats. He just needed to give the right, the right directives and everyone will fall in line. Why? Why is he the one that has to give directives? Is he a democracy or dictator? Is Peter Obi supposed to come in and be a dictator? That part I don't understand. If you give directives and everyone is falling in line, I'm not falling in line, except I know we sit down as Democrats sit down, work out the directive, not waiting for one person to do the directive. For me, this is where I always I look at the 2023 election. So what did I do? What, what could I have done better? What did I not do well that made this people to be able to snatch it? It's not to sit down and be looking at Peter Obi and say that, oh, Peter Obi is the one that ought to have done. But anyway, shall let me continue. Uh, uh, fall in line. Okay, eight. I received my first shock, he said, when he publicly declared that he didn't promise Nigerians to build a strong labor party, but to solve Nigerian problem. I was like, does it mean His Excellency Peter Obi is not aware that without a solid party base, we are heading to nowhere politically? However, I continued in his defense, believing he will still privately bring the needed solution to labor party uh, problems, uh, problems to, no, to no avail, according to him. P.O. also publicly, I'm now in nine, P.O. that's Peter Obi, P.O. also publicly demanded that the Abure led National Working Committee must organize an all inclusive convention that will guarantee the participation of all members of the Labour Party in the choice of their leaders. This didn't happen. And surprisingly, P.O. refused to disassociate himself from the shenanigans and criminal activities of the former NWC as their time has expired. Every member of Labour Party is confused today as to the future of Labour Party because of the lack of leadership from P.O. over the party. And unfortunately, when they look up to me uh, to tell them about P.O.'s standpoint, I sincerely have nothing to tell them because I don't know myself. I cannot continue to speak on behalf of a leader that I do not know how he stands on issues of great importance. I simply don't know how to manipulate. Uh, I simply don't know how to manipulate 
uh, uh, fat. So let, 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 me, let me even stop there and, and put uh, a bit of explanation of that. I, I remember, you know, like this conversation, having this kind of conversation with Peter, I'll be like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then it dawned on me, like, that's when I realized that, okay, we are, we are saying somebody should, should be a dictator. And then we say we are fighting dictators, taking the party, take over the party, do this, do that, and, and do this thing. And I remember the conversation that I had with Peter Obi. We sat down and we was like, look, I'm a member. Peter Obi is not a member of uh, uh, NWC. Peter Obi is not a... Uh, uh, a member of, he's not a member of the cast. He's a card carry member. Yes, he was a presidential uh, candidate. And if he had won the, uh, uh, yes, if, if he had not, if he had been, uh, if he had been sworn in, he won the election. He was regarded for sworn in as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He automatically becomes the the leader because the highest political. This is like right now, I think it's Alex Oti because that's the highest office that they have in terms of uh like like governor and so that's what he is even like some issues where people he doesn't have a yeah, vote yes he has that charismatic power as a leader but he doesn't have constitutional this thing it's not for him to say okay do this so he has followed and said do this work on this do that and some of them have not you know have not they don't want uh, to, to do that. Those are the things that it's, he, he's working on. But at the same time also, and I think there's so much expectation where we think that one person should come in, solve all the problems. It's, it's a collective thing. All of us are supposed to sit down there and solve all, all, all the problems. You, a collective thing. Then one person, we're waiting for that one person. And then why would he not go in there and talk to be, and become something like, like the Tinibus that we see today? Because that's exactly what we are building the ground for. Is it a democracy? A democracy should be. Because sometimes people are like, okay, you have the money. Use money. Because that's what a lot of these people do. They go into parties. They buy off the party. They use the party money. Just like what we saw WK did with, with PDP. Uh, using uh, uh, all of that money that he used to, to now bad bamboozle everybody, take control of the party, hijack it. If we bring it to a Labour Party, if Peter Obi begins to do that, then what's the difference between Peter Obi and all these other people? Anyway, let me continue. Uh, so, okay, so no, number 10, he said, I'm shocked that P.O. could not openly support the noble if, uh, efforts of the Labour Union who founded the Labour Party as a base to fight for the welfare of workers to the extent that some of them are openly saying that PO is not the problem of Labour Party. The Labour Unions now, now, uh, now have the unfortunate situation where they are fighting criminals who want to adjust their party when an ordinary statement from PO would have bought the, the solution. I, can I cannot continue with this ambivalence uh, forever. You know lawyers now, they like big, big word. One of the things for me I would say here is the fact that, you know, in the Nigerian way, everything is about strategy and you have to be focused. There was a deliberate effort to get Peter Obi embroiled in political party affairs so that he will be there solving problems, all sorts of shenanigans coming on, and he will not focus on uh, national issues. So there, you could see there was a deliberate manipulation, which was get him involved, put put Wahala, put whatever in, in, in that party. Let him be running, skelter, skelter, trying to solve it. Let him be focused only on that and not focus on, on also the national issues that were happening and you get him engaged. And he simply refused to allow himself to be pulled down into that, into that rabbit hole and was to say, let's work on this thing. He talks to them. He met with them. He, he, he has conversation. I'm not a Labour Party member. So, uh, whatever it is, when it comes to Labour Party, uh, issues or Labour Party affairs, Kenneth Okonko, of course, is more of an expert than I am because I, I never, I was a member. I've never been a, a member of a political party, but definitely in the future, I'm going to be a member of a political party, but definitely I'm going to check the political party that aligns with my character. For me, that's one of the things. All this why I've not, I could have entered a political, when, uh, a party in 2019, I supported a presidential candidate, but I said no, because for me, I just want to, because I, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get a place where I enter a party tomorrow, I'm looking for, mm -mm. if I enter a party, I die there. If I come up for that party, I'll go come and go sit down, no do party or anything. So I'm very, uh, uh, that's part of the reason why I've kept. So I, I really don't have, but I do know 
one of the things, and we all sat down, you know, had this, uh, uh, that discussion. One of the things that was being put, which is done a lot of time, we've seen it happen again and again. They put problem in your political party and you're so involved in all of those things that you're doing. And then you don't have time to actually focus on national issues. The way Peter B has really, uh, you know, focused on national issues and brought out issues and be there and stood uh, for the people uh, of, of Nigeria. So coming uh, coming down again uh, is to look, number 11. He said, I am, of course, in full support of the labor unions and other stakeholders who are now compared to fight for the soul of Labour Party without the support uh, of Peter Obi. I don't know where that is coming from. I don't I don't know. But for me, I've seen, you know, uh, 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 Peter Obi really focus on getting that Labour Party to be where it's supposed to be. And uh, one of the things, like me, there have a lot, there've been a lot of people that advise, I say, look, Oga, leave this party, you can move on. Some have said, start up a new party. He's always like, okay, they need to, it needs, needs to, be, to, be, to be worked on. And so I don't know where uh, this particular uh, statement is coming from, but hey, like I said, I'm not in Labour Party, so he's more knowledgeable about Labour Party than I am. Number 12, however, the consequence is that I no longer have the confidence that Peter Obi has what it takes to build a party that can that can win these kakistocrats and kleptocrats. And above all, he has proved that even if the people vote for him, he doesn't have what it takes to secure the mandate. I don't intend to embark on such campaign as we did in 2023, projecting a person who cannot sustain the victory if he wins. You know, we, this this is a typical Nigerian thing where we blame the victim instead of the perpetrators. People do things that are wrong, people that are wrong. And so now, you're, now you, you've now you absorbed the criminals that have done the criminality. You're not, you're not blaming the person that crime was done against, that he too did not do crime. To, to fight the criminality and we and how do we get a, a good Nigeria if we're saying everyone should be evil everyone should be criminal in the way that they do things I think um, for me personally and this one I'm not even speaking for Mr. Peter Obi for me personally I would rather not win anything I would rather not get anything than use crime or criminality to get it done even in my business, I've lost a lot of businesses, businesses that would have made me money. I rather said, no, I'm not going to do it. I move on. I, even though I end up losing money, I would rather lose money than say I use criminality. And that's why, I, I'm, for me personally, I'm able to speak today the way I do. That's why Peter will be, he can talk on all issues. He can take on anyone. Nobody is coming out to say, oh, this is why you did this. this is, they've tried all the propaganda. It hasn't worked for them because he has kept his self clean in terms of the process. And remember what Peter, Mr. Peter Obi said when he said that um, the process that brings you in, for you to be called excellency, the process that brings you in must be excellent. So you can't go and embark on criminality just because you want to win it by force. And Mr. Peter Obi has always said that he's not desperate to, to be the president of Nigeria. He's not desperate to win the election. But it's desperate for Nigeria to work. That's 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 the key difference. We are looking for people who are desperate. We 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 want to have a Mr. Peter be be desperate to be president and do everything, even when it involves killing people, doing bribing INEC, uh, destroying judiciary, everything just to get there. Nah. Then what would that be? It would be one of same old, same old kind of people. That's when everybody will now have skeletons in your cupboard. That everybody will now be coming and holding on to one thing and doing one thing or the other. But hey. Uh, okay, so number 13, he said, It's in this regard that I've decided to continue my political journey into the great Nigeria of our vision with Tapi Taubi. I'm always 100% loyal to a leader whenever... I am, okay, the next page. Whenever I'm walking or following the leader, at any time I have doubts with me, within me that I can no longer offer 100% loyalty to him, I will respectfully let everyone know. When I joined myself to his campaign, I made it public. Now that I cannot guarantee my support for his future political aspirations, I believe I owe it to everyone to let everyone know. This has nothing to do with any desire to join APC or PDP. I will perpetually be joined to the Nigerian people and the aspirations for a new, better, and greater Nigeria. 
There's also absolutely nothing personal with my decision to adjust my relationship with His Excellency Peter Obi. It is 100% based on principles and my conviction that I need to a more decisive, bold, brave leader with integrity and team spirit who can confront these kakistocrats and kleptocrats head on. I'll continue to respect him and cherish the periods we work together. With this, uh, this declaration, I'm free to embark on negotiation and consultation with every like-minded people to determine the next step in my political journey, which does not include joining APC or PDP for now, but includes and not limited to consolidation of Labour Party. Nigeria must regain its greatness, whether the kakistocrats and kleptocrats like it or not. Protest is a democratic right of the people. Nobody should prevent the people from protesting, even as the protesters should endeavor to be peaceful. The government must deploy all its wisdom and exercise extreme restraint in the management of the protests of the people. The best method of avoiding protests is good governance. With bad governance, protest is inevitable. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So for watching, bye.